Most people don't realize that applied math really plays a role in their lives every day and that applied mathematicians like myself can really make a difference in what they do. I attended the University of California at Davis and then went to Sacramento State University and got a master's in mathematics. And from there, I decided that I really wanted to get into the deeper thinking of a PhD. So I went to Rice University and studied in the Computational and Applied Mathematics Department. Immediately after I finished my PhD, I took a job at Sandia National Laboratories. I did a lot of work on the energy and the existing electrical grid and understanding where are the problems with it and where do we need to make investments to make it better. So everyone is extremely excited about wind and solar and what these things could do and that they're green, but we still have the existing nuclear power plants and so we have to make sure that those are running safely and that the waste that comes from these plants is safely stored. About three years before the large tsunami and the disaster at the Fukushima nuclear plant in Japan, the Japanese government came to us, specifically an agency called NUMO, and said, we would like some assistance on how and where we should store our nuclear waste. So this was a difficult problem that they needed to think about and they wanted us to use mathematical models to study whether or not a place was a good candidate to store nuclear waste or not. So the team that was building the model, which was my team, would use groundwater flow models that are accepted in theory and then try and update them given information that we knew already about the geography of Japan. And then the team that was creating the data would hand us data and see whether or not the data fit the model and then let us adjust the model accordingly so that that data would make sense. The goal of optimization is to formulate your question as a mathematical equation. And then within some constraints, you wanna try and find the best answer to this equation. The mathematics behind this is based on a lot of calculus and grows from there and that's really forms the basis for the field of operations research. When you look at an optimization objective as minimize the difference between what comes out of a computational model and what you learned from data, this process has a special name called calibration. Often in calibration problems, you need to rely on a particular area of optimization called derivative-free optimization. This allows you to examine the function without knowledge or estimates of derivatives. And often this is required because the computational model is very complicated and it's too difficult to either take a derivative or try and estimate it. Another of the areas that's important in a study like this is called uncertainty quantification. We need uncertainty quantification to understand where the errors are in what we're doing. If we came out and said, there's a 10% chance that there could be a breach into the groundwater system, this might be an unacceptable risk. However, if we come back and say, well, there's only a 1% chance, that might be an acceptable risk. So we want to give people who make the decisions as much information as we can and the uncertainties that go with the data is really important. For the project for Japan, once we had a nice model and we could explain how we got the model, the data that we used, what we understood about the model's uncertainties and how it could be best used to assess a real situation, 
the leaders of the project took all of our results over to Japan and presented it to the NUMO agency. Analysis like this has become more and more important. They not only want to do it, they want to do it quickly. And the best way to do something quickly is to use a computational model rather than having to go out and try and figure it out from a site analysis. Those little math tools that I find so interesting and fun to work with, in the end turned out to help create something much bigger that is really an important tool for just making a better life for everyone and keeping people safe.